Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Tenzing, your host, and you are with us today. We have a very interesting case. We had a patient who have who has uh, flown in from Australia uh, for an implant revision by Dr. Vijay Govinda Gupta. Uh, well, uh, let me give you a little background about Dr. Vijay Govinda Gupta. He is one of the uh, highest implanter. Uh, he is firstly a urologist and an andrologist, and one of the highest implanters in uh, New Delhi, India. Um, so let's talk the patient. Thank you, Mr. Boy Peter. For yeah, hello. Being on my show. Yeah. No problems at all. So how are you? I mean, I am feeling a lot more happy. Happier. Happier now, um, seeing that I had to come over here for revision. Mm -hmm. Now, what had happened to me is a bit of a sad case. Mm -hmm. I went from Australia to Turkey to have my female implant, and it was AMS seven hundred LGX done in Turkey. Now, it was cheaper, but I made a big mistake. What happened is. After having it done in October, which is only four months ago, I had to go back the second time from Australia to Turkey because it wasn't working. So they cut me open, turned it around. They said, I'll be right now, sent me back home to Australia. Three weeks later, I had a massive um, uh, test infection. Uh, and I mean, it was bad, it was nearly on sepsis. Uh, I had to take a lot of antibiotics and it's still, the penile implant didn't work. So I went back to Turkey in, in um, January of 23. When I saw the doctors there at the hospital, and they were happy that it, the implant only pumped to 25 mil enlargement. Like, that's not very much for a penile implant. And Boston Scientific has not responded to any of my emails. So I thought, okay, before I decided to have my penile implant, I was choosing between two places. One was India, Dr. Govinda, and the other place was in Turkey. And I won't name the name of the hospital at this stage, but I tell you now, I hopped on a plane from Turkey, I came over to Delhi, and Dr. Govinda saw me and operated on me within two days of coming here, and I'm so grateful. Now, he did remove the AMS 700 and put a um, columnplast one in for a period of 12 months because there's been so much surgery done down there um, that was my best option, which I'm happy with. And Dr. Ginda said, look, probably at the end of the 12 months, you probably won't even want the, the three-piece AMS. You'd probably be happy with what you've got. And I thought, well, yeah, let's go that way. So I had my surgery done yesterday, and here I am today, have my dressings changed, and feeling as happy as Larry. And I thank Dr. Govinda because I see this place, how many people come through it. It's unbelievable. I swear the bloke's got eight arms because he's in and out of surgery constantly. And he's working seven days a week, which I don't know how he can do that, but he's going to burn himself out. So if you're going to have it done, have it done before he burns himself out. He's a very nice man to deal with. He's very polite, courteous, and for a little bit of extra money to see Dr. Govinda, I would recommend it. Like I've been to India to have my teeth done, as you can see, titanium, because I grind my teeth. Done in India. My eyes done in India. If I had to have any more further surgery done on anything, I'd go to India. And just do your research first, but I can tell you now, I made the wrong choice by going to Turkey. I should have gone, my gut instinct is coming to Dr. Govinda. Sure, there are other um, neurologists here that do penile implants, but Dr. Govinda has got to be the most recognised one that I've seen from India. And I really thank you and your staff for everything that you've done to help me. Right. From the setting up accommodation, the whole box and dice. Um, for the extra little bit of extra money, I was a fool not to come here. So I say thank you again to all you and your staff, because you've all been grateful and helpful. Well, that's a very nice review uh, by, Dr. by Mr. Peter. Um, we are very welcome to actually host a patient. And as you said, you know, India is the place for uh, medical tourism, as I said. It's cheap, convenient, and he came within, um, it was a short notice, right? As you said, he just, yep. two, he just messaged me like a week before, probably four not months. E not even. Uh -huh. Not even about three days before. Three days before, and he was on the plane, and he was right here. <laughs> That's yeah. right, and I'm, like I said, I'm so grateful after seeing the amount of patients he has, and to slot me in, 
that was just incredible. Well, well, that's uh, India how it is, you know, Pesh. We, as I was talking to him before, uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, trained uh, surgeons, uh, technicians, you know, so they have a very hands-on experience. As I said, India is the place for medical tourism, and I'm definitely telling him to travel around uh, New Delhi. And yeah, around well, I, I will be over the next couple of days. I will be travelling around having a look. I've seen Bangalore, or I've seen uh, Jalanda, I've seen Mumbai. There's a lot of nice places. People are a little bit scared. Oh, you know, is there crime? No, nah, there isn't. Okay, the streets might look a bit dirty, but once you go into the hospitals and that, they're all fine and fantastic. Yes, and um, India is one of the most, uh, in, even though English is not, uh, it's not a national language, but it's, uh, it's not the mother tongue. It's a very most. It's one of the most spoken language in India. So yeah. It's very easy to communicate. I don't know if it, that, Pe that's that. People are so friendly, even on the street. You walk so. They nod your head at you, even being a foreigner. Um, you say hello to people. People say hello back. And well, how, what about the hotel? Can you tell me something about the hotel accommodation? How is the hotel? Was well, it cheap, reliable? Well, the, the hotel you booked me, um, it's, a, it's a guest house. Yes. But it's like a hotel room, and it's great. It's like, it's a, it's like it's a Tibetan community where I'm staying at, mm -hmm. and there are restaurants galore. I mean... <laughs> You name it, they got it from Tibetan, Chinese, Korean, Indian, Japanese, Japanese, you name <laughs> it, and they're all one next to another, next to another. Even in the complex, there's two uh, restaurants there. Um, that was it. What is a um, Wong... Wongden House? Yeah. Wongden House. You know how much I'm paying Australian there? About forty dollars a night, which is unbelievable. You know, to stay at a place like that where I've got my own room, queen size bed, air conditioning, big TV, Wi-Fi, shower, toilet. Um, there's a cafe um, on the fifth level which serves you food. It's a restaurant down below, serves you food. Or if you want to go out and try something different, there are only... Yeah, so it's a five star. Oh. Hotel. I mean, it's a five-star five guest hotel house with a one-star uh, price. Yeah, <laughs> you it would is. Say that. It's fantastic, <laughs> and the people there that are running it only keep up. There. Is there something I can do? Would you like your room made up? Would you like this? Would you like that? They're, you know, delightful to deal with. Well, that's a very good review as well for the hotel. Um, so yeah, it's been very convenient for you, as you said in India. Um, language is not an issue. Not an issue. Hospitality. Not an issue. Doctors are very <coughs> well trained. You know, your dressing was very easy as it was, yep. right? So, um, yes, as I said before, you know, the same implant he was getting it done, um, he got it done at one third the price, which in the United States or uh, Australia will be like double or triple the price. So he came over here and he got that no, done. No, it'll be more than triple. <laughs> more than triple the price, right? So that's a lot. Um, so that's why India is one of the most uh, well-traveled places for medical tourism, one of the most high-rated uh, um, countries, or you know, for, yeah. for travel for for medical tourism. Um, so yeah, thank you, Mr. Pona and uh, Peter. And well, we there's one more thing I'd like to say mm -hmm. is that when I was looking for like a penile implant, that I thought I'd go for the best. Well, sometimes not the best is these the best for you. I say. Let Dr. Govinda determine what type of implant you require um, before deciding on, well, this is what I want and that's it. Let him make the decision for you because he's well trained and well practiced. That's all I've got to say. And I say thank you to everybody here and thank you all for listening too. <laughs> all right, great. So we're going to shoot our next segment at the hotel where he is staying and we will meet you in the next segment. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. P Peter. No problems for, at all. Yeah, great. All right, thank you.